learn about liters and milliliters with Miss Julie. Good morning, children. Today, first, let's revise capacity. Look, I have a bottle filled with water and an empty jar. Let's pour this water in the jar. Look, the water started overflowing and fell out of the jar. Hence, we can say that the capacity of the bottle is more than the jar. That is, the bottle can hold more water than the jar. The amount of liquid a container can hold is called its capacity. Here, the amount of water that the jar is holding is called the capacity of the jar. Liter is the standard unit for measuring capacity. We measure the capacity of a container in liters and milliliters. A liter is represented like this. A milliliter is represented like this. Liter is the bigger unit and milliliter is the smaller unit of capacity. We know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. To change liter to milliliter, we multiply liter by 1000. Let's see how. Let's convert 2 liters into milliliters. So, here 2 into 1000 is equal to 2000 milliliters. Thus, we get 2 liters is equal to 2000 milliliters. Let's try one more example. Let's convert 69 liters into milliliters. So, here 69 into 1000 is equal to 69,000 milliliters. Thus, we get 69 liters is equal to 69,000 milliliters. Kids, now let us convert milliliters to liters. We know that 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. Let's convert 8,000 milliliters into liters. So, here 8,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 8 liters. We could also get the answer by just removing three zeros from the right hand side of 8,000. Thus, we get 8,000 milliliters is equal to 8 liters. Let's try one more example. Let's convert 3000 milliliters into liters. So, here on dividing by 1000 or removing three zeros from right hand side of 3000, we get the answer as 3 liters. Therefore, 3000 milliliters is equal to 3 liters. There are certain standard measures used to measure the capacity of a liquid. They are approved by the government. 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters, 200 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 1 liter, 2 liters, 5 liters and 10 liters. Certain liquids in markets are sold 
in liters and milliliters let's have a look at few such examples one cold drinks are sold in bottles that can hold 200 milliliters 500 milliliters and 1 liter 2 we have seen cooking oil getting sold in pouches that can hold half a liter or 1 liter the big cans can hold 5 10 20 liters of oil 3 there are certain medicines like cough syrups and eye drops which are sold in small bottles that can hold liquid in milliliters remember kids every liquid is generally measured in liters and milliliters so wasn't it fun today? Learning something new?